risky play in homes in the past generation, it has really changed where children are dealing with a lot of technology, iPads, inside, and I think we need to go back to that more yesteryear experience where they are exposed to a little bit of mud, a little bit of dirt, a little bit of rain, that hands-on feel of nature so they do get that connection. Did a trip this morning just down to the creek. We certainly use the environment as the third teacher beyond our fence line a lot. We're certainly proud when we see the children behaving in such positive manners, helping each other, looking after each other, certainly following the directions and the boundaries. It's important for them to fail, and I think that's a big part of what we do here, is that they learn that resilience, that perseverance. So when they go on as bigger children, if they do fail, they know they're gonna be okay, and they have that inner strength that they are gonna be okay. That's what we try to give them when they're here.